In recent years, there's been a shift from individual technologies to combined approaches. In this report, we highlight not just specific technologies like AI, but also the practices needed to get the most out of a digital experience in the both personal and academic life. Along with great potential, AI tools bring great risk. Be cautiously optimistic while staying aware of risks and pitfalls. Though those in higher education community are mostly optimistic about the potential for using AI tools to support teaching and learning, they are also aware of the many risks associated with the technology. All higher education stakeholders will benefit from learning how to use AI responsibly. All individuals in the higher education community can support their own AI fluency by embracing curiosity, experiment with AI tools on your own, and seek peer learning opportunities, such as roundtable discussions and self-paced courses. There is a general agreement that developers and users should center ethics, transparency, and accountability. Supporting equitable and inclusive learning is vital to higher education's teaching and learning mission. The challenge, one panelist explained, is moving beyond DEI as a buzzword and making it a truly integrated process. Examining one's own biases is the first step to meaningful engagement in the work of equitable and inclusive learning. Rather than accepting the status quo, look for ways that formal institutional structures benefit some students more than others or even prevent some students from succeeding. Data breaches have the potential to interrupt the entire institution's operations and regulatory and compliance requirements hold institutions accountable for safeguarding personal and institutional data. Protecting data privacy and security is a complex task that requires buy-in and coordination from stakeholder groups across the institution. Foster a culture of data privacy and security across the institution, be transparent with students about what is collected and how it is used, and give students the appropriate level of control of their data. The proliferation of misinformation is a long-standing social concern. Knowing how to navigate misinformation is also challenging because it requires proficiency in multiple skills, identifying and verifying trusted sources, finding and evaluating varied perspectives, seeking peer reviews, verifying citations, and pausing to reflect on new information rather than jumping to action. Navigating misinformation is an institution-wide mission that requires coordinated efforts and both top-down and bottom-up support. Institution-wide courses addressing misinformation will help faculty and staff reach more students and reach them earlier in their college careers. Use real-life examples to teach students how to navigate misinformation. The key is integrating multiple perspectives and finding balance between objective facts and subjective interpretations. At a time when the higher education workforce is consistently struggling with burnout, prioritizing workforce mental health allows faculty and staff to be happier and more effective employees. Supporting student mental health enables students to bring their best selves to their learning experiences, ultimately learning more. Everyone at the institution, including students, should have manageable workloads so that they have time for other responsibilities and recreation. Incorporate positive mental health practices and resources in the curriculum. As you work to support students, keep an eye out for compassion fatigue and reach out for help when you need it.